I'm Zini, and I'm here hanging out in the park with the cast and the crew members of our up-and-coming movie, Up in the Attic. Here we have our director and writer, Kamal Supreme. How you doing, Kamal? I'm fine. How are you, sister? I'm good. I'm good. And yourself? So, I just wanted to ask you, what inspired you in writing the screenplay for the movie? My teenage years, you know, my friends. I hear you. You know what I'm saying? You know, friends, how many of us have them? That's the Houdini joint, you know what I'm saying? Tell me about it. Yeah, that's going back to the 80s. You know, I don't think you was there. You look like a young lady. Ah, uh, hey, you can't go there with me. <laughs> I tried, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, in the 80s, you know, we had uh, everybody had a posse, you know? And our posse was the gods. We hung up in the attic. Oh, yeah, the gods? Who are the gods? Yeah, the gods was 5% nation, you know? We, are you down with 5%? Of course, of course. You know, I mean, I, I came up with the 5% Nation, you know, with the knowledge of self. It gave us pride. It gave us self-esteem, self-confidence, you know, and then it gave us a reputation. You okay, know? I hear you. I yeah. hear you. And that reputation was like citywide. It was like we was in Jersey in the suburbs. But Oh, you stay out in Jersey? Oh, definitely. Teaneck, Inglewood, Hackensack, Burton. I hear Shop. it. I hear it. Yeah, Patterson. Shout outs to Patterson. You know, but we ran from Atlantic City in Jersey to Coney Island in Brooklyn to Far Rockaway, Queens. Oh, shout out to Brooklyn. Yeah, shout out to Far Rock, Edgemere Projects. Flatbush. And we had our ghetto pass because we was God. So we have our koofies with our tassels on. You know, we have our knowledge of self. We have our books on us. So we could go anybody's projects, you know what I'm saying, for Queen Medina. You know, and say, peace, God, peace. And we in. Okay. And how did you get the title up in the attic? Oh, up in the attic? That's where the gods was hanging out, up in the attic, you know, in the suburbs, in the residence of Teaneck. That's where my mom's, you know, she would let us be. Well, right, this is my man right here, Davon. See it. Gotta go see it. Up in the attic. If you don't see it, you ain't worth. So what's going on up in this attic? What's happening in this attic? Things like that would happen. Like brothers and sisters would pop up, you know, and we would party and boast, you know what I'm saying? And um, but also we would like exchange knowledge and lessons. But the drug culture had came through. Some of us, you know, got into that, got caught into that. Some of us started robbing and stealing, you know, but then others went a different way, you know, so we conveying all the different things that happened up in the attic. And females, for some reason, seem to be attracted to the bad boys, you know? Yeah, I hear you. I was one of them. I was right there, right along with you. That's true, true, true. We was attack, attacked bad by them. Boy. Attacked by them. Yeah. Another one of our crew. Yeah, it was a... You know what? I think you need to check out the movie all the time. This is Raw Talent L. Well here, but I'm called I Self in the movie, so check it out. You can hit it on any internet website right now. Check it out. Live and direct from Kamal Amani, and your name is? Xenia. Zini? Xenia? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> My name is Will, but they call me Raw Talent L. Well. Check me out online. Direct. You can Google my name. Um, also check out everything that we're doing online because without y'all, there is no us. So check us out up in the attic, live and direct. Right, I hear you. I like that, definitely. So tell us more about how you began to get the cast and the crew members for the film. Oh, you know, basically I went online, Craigslist. I that yeah, yeah, explore talent. Um, MySpace, I put some blogs out there and then people started sending me their pictures, their resumes. Was it a lot of work to get all of the, the actors and actresses? Well actually, a lot of females came. It was crazy. I had to make some additional parts, you know, because I didn't want to turn down people from the community. They earnestly want to do it, you know. I only had a lot of determination. Did you get anybody from the community to participate? Yeah, actually we had a lady um, in the Inglewood school system, I believe it is. Her name was Deneen, and she brought like 30 kids, you know, and, and shout out to Inglewood from the, um, yeah, the Inglewood school system, and they came in for our club scene, and the club scene is off the chain. I bet you was popping off. Uh, definitely. They party out in Inglewood. Oh, they party crazy. The thing is, Jersey tried to shut you down at 2 in the morning, but we don't have that. I hear that. No, we stay popping live till 4 a.m. in the city. Oh, I know. That's, that's what we pop over there, and that's kind of like what the movie's about, a proximity to New York, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I hear you, I hear you. So I see that everything in the movie has a lot to do with real life, everything going on in real life. So what are, what are the other topics you discussed in the movie? Well, we're dealing with the negatives and the positives of drugs, of sex, education, peer pressure, 
you know what I mean? But it's a lot of comedy in it, you know? I mean, the actors that we casted, they put a nice positive flair to it in terms of comedy. Like, they can make some serious subject matter, like, real funny, you know? So I give them shout outs for that. I like you keep that positive in the movie with the children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the youth are off the chain. And every scene that we develop, you know, it came out beyond my expectations. And a lot of that's due to the great camera work of our cinematographer, Chris Brown. You know what I'm Here we go. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, I just wanted to say real quick, uh, I am the director of photography, cinematography on the Up in the Attic movie. I had a great time. Well, I have. I'm having a great time doing the film, shooting the film. It's a really uh, positive uh, experience, not only for me, but from for all our cast members uh, and our crew members also. Uh, one thing I want to say is, for all you young people out there, uh, you guys need to try and empower yourselves and be uh, very uh, creative in, in this time and day. Uh, you know, when you have, you have your ideas in your head, try and put them down on paper, write them. Uh, we need good films out there, okay? One thing I want to say is we need very good films out there for all you young people. That's, if, if I had to, uh, if, if somebody was to ask me what kind of movie that I would like to see now, I would say a great film from a young person, a young director. Because, uh, I, I, you know, I, I like the old stuff. I like the stuff from the, I, I love the stuff from the 70s. I like the stuff from the 80s. But it's the new stuff that's coming out now that really, uh, that really gets me, that really is, uh, I, I find just so creative. Uh, I don't want to interrupt you guys, I just want to, you know, shout you guys. It's all right, Chris, we love having you here with us. We became a family, you know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. This is a family interview, you know what I'm saying? Family. I just want to thank Kamal for, uh, you know, bringing me on as cinematography here, and uh, I look forward to uh, more work, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> more work. That's 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 what I want. More work. We want to get the rest of the crew up here to say a few words to us and to talk about the film a little bit. Let's get it live and popping. Come on, we have the youth. One person. Hi, how you doing? Gilliam. The cast members in the movie. Right. Film Academy. Right. Right. To, to, to help me out uh, on, on whatever I have to do, whether it's being a grip, uh, but he's, he's been real helpful. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, just hit me up at uh, what? Uh, www. Up in the attic, Ning. Yeah, Ning. Com. I guess you could check me there. You could check me out at go to my email, Davon underscore direct. Dot com at well, Dave on school direct at yahoo.com. Trying to get in the modeling too, so holla at me if you like the face. Thank you. Holla at your boy, holla at your boy. Definitely hit him up on the website, people. But I thank you for coming out with us. Welcome, my sister. And um, you know, y'all can find us, man. You can Google up in the attic. You can also find us on myspace.com slash up in the attic, newblackmusic.net up in the attic and we're working on our new official site that's up in the attic movie.com and we hope to be on amazon.com and netflix and all of that stuff real soon you know what i mean that's right i hear you getting where you fit in so this is the and thank you and good night attic and remember what happens in the attic stays in the attic no snitching <laughs>